Hello everyone, welcome back in Paris once again for a very, very excited update. Um, it's a special day, special setup, special everything. But you are still with me uh, at the Lynx office in Paris. We are upstairs. Uh, I'm doing this live right now in this room and not the other room because uh, starting from now, the hardware team is stressed out of uh, uh, the hardware room being filmed and they're afraid that we might leak anything. So right now we are at the software um, level of links. So welcome. Uh, the main topic of today is to show you our work uh, once again and where we are and uh, what's coming for you. So the first thing that's coming for you is that right next to me, I have this interesting box, uh, fully blistered and everything coming straight from the factory of Compal, our partner and uh, manufacturer. Um, we are going to review together what's inside. Uh, I did not open that that one before. Maybe the, the, the one that are behind me were open and checked and everything seems to be pretty much in place. So let's dive right in. I'm going to open that with you. We are going to explore the device, see how we set it up, what's inside the box, and uh, basically what you will get in your hands extremely soon, as the first delivery is happening this week. And you'll be, uh, we'll keep you updated over Twitter, Discord, uh, and whatever channels we will get our hands on. So, let's start. So this is a Lynx R1 box, uh, you can see um, it looks like that. We have a pretty good rendering. Everything is done by the team, so they they do the rendering of the headset in Keyshot. This is a uh, this illustration here is a uh, ray traced. Um, two stickers on the sides. Um, links are one, and the back looks like this. Yeah, I don't know if you can see everything. You at the bottom you have the the boring logos for the certification. And at the top, you have some cool explanation of what's inside. Okay, so. Okay. So far, this is what we had it in, in mind when we designed the packaging. Okay. Okay, making sure you can see everything. So there is a sleeve. So it looks like that. So sorry, I'm very I'm I'm not being very verbal because it's I'm very focused on my product. But we have plastic film protecting the faceplate here, so it doesn't get damaged uh, during transport. Uh, Probably, depending on when you will be delivered, uh, the plastic will cover completely the, the face plate in, in front of the headset. All right. So you remember we posted um, a photo of me in front of some cardboard uh, boxes with some shipment of headsets. It was this class of uh, headset, and you can see that one is shiny and the other is not. So that's that's what we call the DVT build. It's um, it's not a mass-produced headset. It's co also coming from the factory, but it's not designed to be commercial. This one is. This one is the final thing. So uh, looks like that. You can see the lens and everything. So you have a IPD setup for each side of the headset. 
like this. You can see here the proximity sensor and uh, uh, one magnet here and the other one here. Also, you can remove that. It's in place with magnets and you can put that in your washing machine if you want. At the back here, you have the same stuff with the back foam. Uh, you can you can change the you have a, a tightening wheel here and it should adjust to any type of head. You can see the speaker box here. Um, at the top we have the USB-C connector. We have two buttons that are programmable. Um, the power button here and the volume plus, sorry, sorry, volume plus and volume and minus. So the cameras, uh, you can see the RGB cameras. This one is the 6 of one and this one is the from the pair of the hand tracking cameras. Okay, so that's pretty much it, but it's not everything uh, that you can find in the box. So at the center of the box, you can open here and you will find um, one cool paper with uh, one QR code and one your uh, address that I'm hiding because it's not yet ready, we're still updating that, uh, where it will take you to a website where you will learn how to use the Lynx headset, where you can download apps, um, how you can program it, and uh, all the things, you, all the cool stuff you need to know about your device. Um, but it's, it's working uh, out of the box, I'll show you. Also, at the center, you'll find two pieces of equipment. The first one is the, the top strap, so it's an additional strap that is totally optional that you can you can pass here and here if you want to um, you, to have a, an even more uh, weightless uh, sensa sensation when you wear the headset. Um, and you have al also the the VR foam. So if you want to use the uh, Lynx headset just for VR and in your application you don't have any AR, you can you can plug you can plug the the foam like this. Yeah, I think I showed you that in a, in a previous video and uh, it's delivered uh, in the box as well. And of course we have a USB-C cable. So the, the USB-C is um, as a 90 degrees, um, you know, angle. So you can use with your Lynx headsets in this manner So you can, you can still keep using the flip up um, with the 90 degrees angle, because if, if it was straight, then it will, it, it will not, I mean, it will still work, but not as good as, as uh, what is working now, like this. So the flip up, it was very complicated to do, but we are very happy to ship with this feature. Also in, um, in upcoming batches later down the year in early 2024, the design team will add something to uh, to the packaging. Uh, it's uh, this piece of cloth. So, for example, when you want to transport your headset in your backpack or um, in something that might damage either the lenses uh, or the camera lenses, then you can just take this and put the front of the head of your headset of the front part of the Lynx R1 in it. You see, it's very cute and convenient, like a sock. And, and then you can, you can put the headset in your backpack and it will be much safer for um, the electronics and the, the optics. And uh, it will be again uh, in the box. All right. So for the first backers and people that pre-order the headset, since we have all the boxes that are arriving in Paris, um, we are opening everything so we can check if the devices are running well. So we'll do a quick check. Does this one boot up? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, it's turning on. Um, so we, we're checking every device for cosmetic or uh, technical software issues. And because we're opening and closing them again, uh, we, for the first backers and the first pre-orders, we will put um, um, a single VR uh, lens 
from our headsets uh, as a as a goodie, I would say, uh, as a as a gift for uh, a thank from the team. So you might, if you find this in your in your box, it's like the golden ticket uh, from the Willy Wonka movie. Okay, and we we'll put it at the center. Um, okay, so yeah, and this headset yeah seems to be working. So that's for the unboxing and when you need to set it up on your head, it's quite simple. You put it on like a hat, you know, like this. Then you use the tightening wheel here. You can use the flip up and you power it on here. Simple as that. And then as I showed you before, you can adjust the IPD with the, by just moving the lenses around like this. All right. So, um, that's pretty much it. There is a bit of links everywhere here now. So other important news that I wanted to share. Um, the first one is a picture. Okay, so. So that's, um, that's a picture of all the first lenses that are coming out from the factory. In each of these cardboards, there are multiple headsets and they are shipping to uh, Paris. They either arrived or are on their way by airplane uh, to be, to be uh, checked by the team here and immediately shipped to, to you guys. Okay. So, uh, on Thursday, we are going to update uh, our SDK um, on our portal website. So um, we are going to communicate uh, around that new website very soon in a more official manner. But on that website, developers will be able to find the latest uh, SDK. Nothing, I mean, many th things change, but if you started to develop with our existing SDK, you shouldn't need to change too much uh, inside your project. Um, but this new SDK is very, very convenient. It uses the latest features of uh, Unity and OpenXR, so the developers can have um, um, a very good development uh, environment, uh, which is our primary goal for the heads this headset, is to provide you um, a good platform to, to port your applications or new projects uh, on. So that, that's important, and you will hear about that um, you will hear about that uh, on first day. Okay. Um, something else that we that is worth noting is now we have um, we made a correction in the software that has uh, that allows us to have a perfect alignment, a spatial uh, alignment between the virtual hands from the ultra deep tracking algorithm uh, and uh, and the the visual hands, your real hands that you see from the pass through of the headset. So uh, before the end of the week as well, you will see this, uh, this new uh, capability of the headset and uh, understanding of your hands and how great it renders um, when, you, when you do some masking, uh, for example, uh, and, and you'll, you'll see more about that. So there, there is a lot of progress uh, internally that is going on since we received those devices. The team is trying everything and I can't wait for guys like you to try things out uh, of our company with the headset that we couldn't have the time to, to try on. One of the things we just published an hour ago on YouTube is a video of one of our employees uh, using the headset and his uh, flight simulator set up on his computer streaming directly to the headset. And this is using an open source project called AL ALVR. You probably might have heard of that if you're using VR a lot especially PC VR from uh, standalone headsets. So we are very thankful for people that build those standards, the community that put out those projects that are almost working uh, out of the box, if not completely out of the box. It was really easy to set up. So from that, we have, you know, from AL VR, we have Steam completely working and any any PC VR application that can run uh, in the headset. So that's, that's quite incredible. We are also working with, uh, we are going to contact again some developers uh, that are part of the deliveries batch um, that 
put some great projects out there, like for example, the Open Brush application. Uh, we're going to, to reach out to Michael, uh, of course, and to some other developers, but it's a really exciting time for us. Uh, it's been, I don't know, like five or six years that I've been dreaming of getting a headset from a box from a finished uh, product. It's it's surreal for me, it's surreal for the team as well. Um, I'm sure you are tired like me to to wait and I can tell you now that the wait is over. Uh, and I can't wait to show you, uh, you know, during the weekend, uh, the, first, uh, the first delivery happening. We are going to respect the order of deliveries uh, from the Kickstarters and people that pre-order the headset. So the queue is long. Uh, but now we are producing links by the hundreds, so it's pretty smooth. The yield um, at the factory is much greater. Compal and our hardware team did an amazing job, you know, uh, top to bottom on, on, on the device. It's quite incredible. The, the quality is great. Uh, you, will, you will feel it in your hand. You will, you, you will see how, how great it, it, it is. So I wanted to thank everyone from the Kickstarter everyone that pre-ordered and believed in the headset. I'm thanking also the team. Uh, it's, you know, we're off to a great uh, start after the, the holiday that we have in, uh, in France in August. It's, um, I'm also thanking our partners. Um, so all the technical partners, people that had our previous build of the headset and uh, had to work with uh, a very difficult software sometimes that we are, that we are polishing. Um, now the runtime is, is stable also because of you. And it's quite amazing that for the first product from a small startup to have this quality. I know I'm biased and I'm just uh, throwing flowers at me directly, but you know, if I, you know, if I look at that, um, you know, I, I, I try to, to be unbiased, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty crazy what we what, what we're doing and what what we did with the the version one so yeah I'm, I'm thanking everyone that this dream came true um, I'm also thanking the businesses that are going to rely on the headset to train a lot of people to do a lot of stuff and bring mixed reality to to more and more people um, one of the other type of people I wanted to thank is the you know it's it's a bit weird, but I think our bank, I can thank them now because we had a lot of time, uh, a, a, a very hard time financing this company. And, you know, our bank is doing wonders, uh, helping us, uh, you know, between fundraising events uh, and the production uh, money that we need. Uh, sometimes it's very hard. We had a lot of delay with the, with the headset and most of the delay was not really technical. It was obviously because it's very hard in Europe, especially in France, to finance this kind of company. So I'm really thanking uh, the people, our shareholders and, and the bank that trusted us and, and saw that we're doing the right thing. And I've, I'm, I'm going to put the Kickstarter and the people that pre-ordered the headset in the same bag because you knew in a way, one way or another that we were going to have delays. And, and you still believe we have very, very few cancellations. Uh, in our uh, in our book orders, so it's uh, it's it's you know thank you thank you so much for for all of that. Um, so I'm going to stop now. Uh, I'm going to just take the questions we have from the from the chat. The first question uh, that uh, my team showed me is how much was it is it going to cost now? So the headset is going to cost a for new orders very soon it's going to cost a bit more than uh, a thousand uh, euros uh, it's next question is that great that you check the boxes but does that mean the plastic wrap be removed on deliver boxes so the plastic wrap might not be on the first uh, delivered boxes that's true uh, but we're going to to close the um, the, the the package by uh, replacing the stickers uh, on both sides of the of the box here if we buy today can we update the code the source code uh, when the new version will uh, will come out so one of the best and most complicated features that we worked on is to be in, in 
you might think it's simple. I thought it was going to be simple, but you can update the headset over the air uh, when you are connected to to your Wi-Fi. So in the launcher application, you go to settings, uh, check for updates, and if there is a new firmware, uh, you will be able to download it from our servers. And if you want to restore your headset to a previous version, you are also able to do that and to download all the firmwares we publish on our uh, portal website. And it's already online and I know some people already downloaded the firmwares and try to extract uh, various things. So it's, it's, it's working. It's, it's pretty, pretty good now. Too bad it doesn't have a depth sensors or any occlusion mapping capabilities. So it's not a question, but I'm going to answer that. Um, we don't have a depth sensors for many reasons. I think the main one would be the power consumption running in the headset. You have to understand that it's a XR2 chip. It's a great and powerful chip, but we're really pushing it with everything we're doing in Lynx. From the ultra deep hand tracking service or the 6DOF or the heavy pass through uh, and correction we're doing, it requires a lot of power. Um, and, and adding a depth sensor was technically possible, but uh, it will it would have augmented the price uh, too much and it will also uh, you know put some too much pressure on the formal of the device but we have occlusion mapping capabilities you can do occlusion mapping in two ways the first the first way is um, if you need to do occlusion mapping just with the hands you can rely on the very good uh, hand tracking that is running on the device and now that we have a perfect alignment uh, between the video and the tracking algorithm, uh, the masking will be amazing. If you need to do occlusion mapping beyond the hands, like to, to de detect this, this plane, for example, and to hide things beneath that won't be seen uh, in AR, it's possible. Um, we are, you know, you can do some depth uh, calculation based on the six depth cameras. So, from those two cameras, because they have the biggest baseline uh, between, you know, be because there is a great distance between the two cameras, you can do some pretty good depth estimation of mapping the environment. It's not the same as the depth sensors, but it, it also works. And if in your application, you really need to do some occlusion mapping, you can start from there. It will work. And we will show you that. Uh, are you still planning to implement occlusion mapping with Wikitude? Um, so Wikitude was acquired by Qualcomm, so you might now call it Snapdragon Spaces, uh, with, and it includes other APIs as, as well from Qualcomm. So we are going to um, most probably um, be compatible with Snapdragon Spaces. It's going to be quite difficult. It's quite difficult to have Spaces running on Lynx R1, and we work with Qualcomm on that. Uh, for hours, but we are also going to be compatible uh, with Viforia, and this is something that is already working. Uh, you remember that with Lynx, as a developer, you can grab the frames of the camera and get the sensor data from the IMU and all that. Well, because you can do that, we one of our developers internally worked on uh, implementing Viforia um, to do all the things Viforia can do including image tracking, uh, 3D objects tracking, and all that. It, you know, we're going to, to make an official statement with them when we will, it's going to be more mature, but we have this working as a preview package that we, we can share and we already shared with some uh, uh, partners. Uh, will the headset stay on head when doing handstand? It's a good question. I'm not going to try that right now, but um, this, if you tighten it well, it should stay in place. So one of the other questions is, I backed the limited edition. I will receive it after all standard edition will be built, or you manufacture standard and limited at the same time. We are not manufacturing them at the same time. The first batches of devices will be the standard edition, the, the black one. Um, but before the end of the year, we will push with our manufacturer compile to also have the limited edition out. Okay, 
So as the battery life changed with the final batch, so the battery life didn't change, but the, certainly the battery profile is behaving much better, which means that for people that tried a headset before, um, you know, you had some, uh, some throttling with the, the battery levels, this is not happening anymore. With the first headset being there, could you tell us more about what the process of submitting an app for the store of the headset will look like? Yes, I can tell you that. Um, we're actually in, in the process of finishing that, that, that thing uh, on the back office. You will need to uh, have an account on our portal. Then you will need to register an organization. And this organization can be uh, is a moral entity like a company or yourself if, you're, if you are a freelance, for example. So you need to register that organization and through that, you will be able to get paid, for example, if you, uh, if you submit an app that is, uh, that is not free. Um, so everything will go through that process. So when you have that organization, you can sub start to upload your apps and they will be visible on the upcoming store. What the pro version have in more? Um, the, the, the pro version is the same, uh, it's the same product, it's not the same license. Uh, so if you want to, re to resell the headset, if you want to uh, um, have better um, gu guarantees uh, on the hand tracking precision and all that, you should use the Pro. Um, but otherwise, it's the same product. And uh, we're going to simplify the, the offering. Uh, congrats for the final results. How many units are you shipping for this first version? Um, so for this first batch, we are shipping right now a couple hundreds of devices right now. But for the first version, um, my estimation is that we're going to ship maybe between 50,000 to 100,000 of devices. But we might get a surprise. I don't know. It's the very early days. It's the very early days. But, you know, we... We already won that game because we, you know, for a long time, we couldn't even produce everything we we're selling. So um, it's, it's quite a success, I would say. Um, and, and we'll see when the device really gets in the hands of you guys, um, how, you know, uh, how it will work uh, down the line uh, with further sales and if the adoption is really there. But, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm really excited. Can the headset be used with char when charging? Um, yeah, you can use the headset uh, with the USB cable. This is, again, this is exactly why we, we uh, uh, distribute the cable with a 90 degrees angle. So uh, it's not in the way uh, when you use the headset and you can keep using the, the flipper. Uh, what about the the add-on? Uh, I I don't know what the what which add-on you mentioned, but uh, we have a we have an add-on that uh, will allow you to put more sensor on your headset if you need, and to to screw things around your your headset. Um, but it's it's going to be either three D printed from the final users and di distributed uh, on our portal website. I'm not sure we're going to to sell that, that product yet. Okay, I think that's, that's good. Uh, what do you think guys? We're good for tonight? Okay, so that was just a quick video for you know, the unboxing, what it looked like, um, and, and you know, just sharing our relief uh, and excitement from uh, what's uh, ahead of us now, uh, because the real, the real game is starting right now. Um, so, Let's keep in touch. You will see in the coming days the first delivery happening, and for the the first hundreds of um, of backers uh, and pre-order, uh, you you'll receive your headset. Uh, that's the best news I can I can share today. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know. Uh, let me know online if you receive the lens in your box or not. Um, I hope you're excited. Uh, this is just the beginning for links. I, I feel like I'm going to say that after at the end of every vi video, but it's really just the beginning. 
Thank you very much. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.